All right, so proving that you're from the ghetto. You know, it's a lot of people like, when I listen to Anika, you know, she's supposed to be some girl from Trinidad. You know, most of them islanders end up in, like, Jamaica, Queens, and you can tell, you know, by the culture of certain places and the way it's, you know, described the name and stuff, that they be in places like Jamaica, Queens and shit that, you know, you know, all that, it just, you know. Once you learn about history, you'll realize as long as they got Mexico over there, a lot of them states over there on the west coast of the United States has got very, you know, got Hispanic words. So I'm pretty sure if I go to the west coast, I see a lot of Hispanic people, and it will be a detox for me. And I view them as a detox anyway. I've been listening to something named Sky Baller. Tracy T, I move faster when I listen to these people. I said, I'm a black woman. Black people are not a detox for me. And pretty much, you know, there are people, you know, that I view as a detox. You know, a positive war. I feel safe around them. So, and I was also looking like, looking... I was eating a bluebell ice cream, vanilla, and I was, they was like, it's a factory in um, Texas. So I hope one day to go out there because I'm like, it's about respecting it. I'm like, them people can open thing, open some up and close the store. And I'm like, just like the White Castle in Chicago. You know, somebody I know told me that they owned it and they poke holes in their meat and it really probably gives an even touch to the way the meat tastes and all that stuff. So people are really being, that's what I'm learning and I really appreciate my job at McDonald's. It's, it's respecting, you know, the individual and, and, and seeing what their contribution is and do they really care about the job. You know what I'm saying? I do this at my house. I clean up at my house, so I don't see the difference. You know what I'm saying? I get mad at things being imperfect, but, you know, it comes with the game. You know, people could judge me for being such a stressed-out person. It's like I'm like, my voice like this. People probably think I'm sick and be like, well, you got flu symptoms. But, you know, a lot of people get sick, and, you know what I'm saying, uh, all this stuff, when you're born into this earth, once you're exposed to what they call viruses, and all that stuff, one day all that is going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you're not dead, it really doesn't matter. So, yeah, man, I really want to go vegan for like five years. On the strength of just being on some real shit. But I like, man, it's too much of a dangerous world to be a small frame person. I don't have to, like, I mean, I, could, I guess you can be a vegan and still work out. You know, you know, especially being in a female body, I'm like, I just feel better when I have body fat, but I'm like, it's not about that. So that's why I don't move my body as much because I really want to preserve that meat. <laughs> yeah, I feel protected by layers, man. Adding all that. Some people really are built a certain way and really want to control me, and I really am stuck between a hard, a rock and hard place. Last time I went to Georgia, I fucked around and got raped. And I'm like, these people really want me to respect them. I mean, it's not that bad, but it is that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's emotionally traumatizing knowing, you know what I'm saying, my heart could beat too fast because of a man penetrating me against my own will, even though, you know what I'm saying, I ain't had no heart attack yet. It's going to happen one day. <laughs> I promise you, I know how I feel. I mean, I could be exaggerating. You can always say shit like that. Like, nah, that's basically what you're about to do is find for life. Ooh, we got all these different conceptual things that people just like, oh, you being a wimp, puss. You know what I'm saying? Man up. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm like, man, it has so much credibility for there to be a phrase like man up. It's just like, damn, what do I do? But I'm surviving. That's all that matters. So, you know, shout out to my dads and my moms. Anybody that ever took care of me, you know what I'm saying? Having. I mean, intellectual perspective, it take a village, like they said, and, you know, people have to work on respecting all that, you know. So, I guess the, the lesson that the men in my life were trying to teach me is that, you you know, you go somewhere, you got to survive by yourself. Take what I...
take this tough love going. That's why I'm going to get it. What are dysfunctional situations in my life? Tough love. And I'm done.